We got a special track in this mud. I'm going to try and keep my shoulder out of the light. This is it right here. It's got a round pad. It doesn't have lobes, which are the big bases of what looks like a coyote or a dog track or a wild cat track has three lobes. This has no real lobes you can really see. And it's got a very clear pad, much like a human hand. It's got this just simple, very basic round shape to it. It's got a very thick finger or toe. Another toe, another toe, another toe. Looks like another toe right up here, so about five toes. And one of them is a little bigger than the others. It almost looks like an opposable thumb. And long toes are starting here and going all the way up to here. For such a small track, that's over half the length of the track. A lot like a human hand. What this animal is, is a raccoon. And he came in here, and you actually see one of his claw marks, if I can get a stick. It's a terrible example. That's much better. Right there, you can see a little hole. And that's a claw mark. What this animal is, is a raccoon. And they have hands, much like a human's. Not as dirty as mine, well, maybe even dirtier. We don't know this raccoon personally yet. <clears throat> and they can actually grasp onto things, not as easily as a human can. They can't do this. They're not as functional fingers. But they can grasp onto things, pry things, move things with their hands, much like a human or an ape can. And that makes them an amazing animal for living in the wild and in cities. They're one of the best survivors you'll find out there. This animal was coming through here. We haven't found much of his other tracks through this trail. But from the angle it's coming in at, he was going along skirting the marsh, uh, the marshier areas. He was coming in looking for snacks, most likely. These guys love frogs, they love crayfish, they love mussels, they love aquatic food, and they wash their food. It's a, something that's seen with both wild and domestic raccoons, they'll wash their food. It's not as much hygienic as they think, as people think they're now believing, it might just be a habit they do to soften the food up. And of course, that's where they're going into the water and getting their food. So their hands are often wet while they grab food, so it's a psychological aspect of the animal. So, there he is. From the angle of it, it looks like he's walking that way. And that's a beautiful track there from a raccoon. We've got a lot of deer tracks in here, but this is the one I really wanted to point out. We've already looked at deer tracks, so it's nice to see one right here that's completely different from the others.